Right, hi there. So here's my um, Chinese C3 mini lathe. I've had this for about five years now, I think. And I've been wanting to get a quick change tool post for it for quite some time. Uh, I've put up with this one here for all that time. Uh, I do quite like it, but every time you want to change a tool out to put a different tool in there, you have to shim it. I don't know if you can see, just underneath the actual tool piece, there's a load of shims there. And so you have to stack these shims to get the actual edge of the tool, tool here on the centre line of the lathe. And that can sometimes be quite difficult and time consuming. Uh, so the bits I actually use underneath here, I've got bits of pop can and also bits of steel banding like this, what you would uh, wrap uh, like crate parcels up in, you know, to hold it together in shipping. And also there are parts of feeler gauge in there as well to get it, get the tool dead centre. So it can be quite time consuming actually taking these tools out and then putting others in there. So yeah, I've uh, found a quick change tool post which is uh, reasonably priced. I have been looking at other ones which were like uh, uh, getting onto £90 range and I don't really want to put that much into it. So yeah, I will show you the uh, tool post holder that I got. Okay, so here it is. It comes in a reasonably strong box with a nice uh, foam insert in there, so it's not going to get damaged during shipping anyway, uh, which my one didn't, so that's good. Uh, you've got a couple of Allen keys there to tighten the tool holders up. There's the actual tool post. And that just slips inside. And you get a couple of different sized uh, bolts with it to attach it to the lathe. And then the tool holders, that's a standard tool holder. It will take up to um, half inch uh, size tool bits. There's two standard tool holders. And then there's a uh, parting tool bit there to take a parting blade. And then there's also a 3 8 uh, I think it was 3 8 let me just look on the side. Uh, there we go. 3 8 uh, boring hole, boring tool holder, sorry. And they're all machined nicely. These bits here, I think they're made from steel. Yeah, definitely made of steel. The actual body of the uh, tool post is aluminium, so yeah, it's not made in steel, it's aluminium. Okay, so I'll just uh, put it on the lathe and see what it looks like. Okay, so uh, there we go. Uh, it took me under 30 seconds, probably, once I put it on here to actually adjust the uh, tool piece to the correct height. And I just took a cut, face cut off the um, edge here and it's perfectly smooth. There's no little dimple in the middle. Uh, so yeah, pretty happy with it. It's a lot, lot faster to set the tool bit up. So yeah, should be pretty good. I'll just show you actually how the tool bit works, just for people who aren't sure. Uh, you've got like a dovetail here, and then this obviously slides up and down on the tool post. And then you've got a thumb wheel adjuster here, and it's on the actual tool holder. There's a piece of threaded rod, and you can basically just adjust this up and down until you get it to the right height rather than putting shims in and then once you've got it to the correct height there's a little lock nut on top here which is just here and then you tighten this down 
on top of the thumb wheel and that will lock it in place that means it will ensure every time you put the tool holder on there the tool bit in that your tool bit will be at the right height so I can just pull this out and put the tool bit back in and lock it and it will be at the correct height each time so uh, overall I'm pretty happy with it it seems to be pretty well made uh, only time will tell how long it lasts uh, so yeah but once again I brought this from banggood.com I will put a link in the description uh, it was under $40 uh, at the time when I brought this so yeah I think it's a good bargain anyway and yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you next time please uh, rate comment and subscribe bye